Good evening, people. <clears throat> good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, Daniel. Good hello, Daniel. Hello. Hello. Good hello. evening. Good evening, Vera Liz, Norma. Welcome. Hello. hello. Okay. Hope that you are having a great time. So today is Thursday, and nobody knows it, right? <laughs> Good evening, everyone. So I have four people still waiting for the rest. Okay, so don't worry because, you know, we're going to have 120 minutes tonight to go over uh, some activities and to practice, okay? It's quite important uh, to, to practice a lot, right? So we have been studying present continuous, okay, in different uh, forms. Affirmative, negative, interrogative. Yesterday we were talking about double H question words with present continuous, and it was very meaningful. Okay, it was very meaningful. I I hope that you have taken advantage of ye yesterday's class tonight. Well, we are gonna continue talking about it, but we're gonna discover or we're gonna gonna have some review about it. We're going to solve a, a lot of exercises. We're going to practice pronunciation, a grammar. We're going to solve some exercises. And then at the end, you're going to create something, right? So that's that's the way we work over here. And I think it's been working well because I can see um, that you are improving your English, that you are learning, okay? So uh, that's what I, what I see, right? That's what I... Uh, perceive, but the most important is that you, that you um, evaluate your progress, okay? Because you are the ones who who know, right? So uh, the way you the way you were when you came to basic English two, okay? This is you know to remember this is the third week. So we are missing one week and one day because tomorrow we're not going to have classes, right? So that means that we're going to finish on Friday, okay? The And I think we're going to have our last class the, on Monday, just after the, the next Friday. I mean, the, the next week. Yeah, it, it may be like that. Okay, so welcome everyone. I can see Aidan, Norma, Gladys, Veronis, Ronan, Oscar, and Dania. So, well, uh, we're gonna take advantage of time. So it's like five minutes and we have to start. You know, I will check the list of attendance. Just tell me, pressing, hello teacher, I'm here. Hey, I will share something with you so that you can, but I will share, I, I will share it with you at the end of the class, okay? So it's because I feel, uh, I, I am pretty happy, okay? I'm pretty happy about something that I can see here. This group is a very special group because, well, I will let you know about it later. So be ready. Uh, today is, what day is today? What is the day today, people? What is the day today? What is the day today? Hello? Hello, Basic English 2 people. Are you there? Today is July the 6th, 2023. Okay, today is Thursday, July the 6th, 2023. Thank you. Now, Aidan, are you there? Belen, Claudia, Daniel, Hola. Hello, Dino Hello. Maribel, Edgar. Let me see if Edgar is over here. Hey, people, Edgar is, uh, he doesn't feel well tonight, so he's not going to, he's going to be like a listener. I can see Edgar over here. Thank you, Edgar, for being over here. Agradezco su presencia, Edgar, y la de todos. Pero Edgar no está muy bien y aún así ese nos saluda por allí, aunque está enfermito, pero miren, ahí está. Ok, así que Edgar, pues, va a estar como oyente ahora. Ok. 
Let us see, Daniel, Dina, Elka. Hey, Gladys, Jonathan, Maria Elba, Mario Cristóbal, Berenice, Miguel Ángel, Aníbal, Norma Xiomara, Oscar Antonio, Present. Ok, Oscar, eh, Ronald. Present, present. Good, Teresa. En Veraliz. Present, teacher. Ok, Veraliz. Pretty good. Now let's see, how many people do I have? Nine. Let me see, there's somebody in the chat, ok. Ok, Gladys. Ok, I understand you have some technical problems. Maybe, but I appreciate you are in the class now. Okay, we're going to start. Yesterday, we were talking about double H question words. And you know what? We're going to have some review about it. Actually, there are a lot of exercises that we need to go over. Okay, and what is the topic for tonight? Well, the topic for tonight, let me see, is this one. Okay, actually, the topic is simple, present, continuous for temporary situations. That is our topic for tonight. Okay, yesterday we were talking about double H question with present continuous. Let me see, I don't know if somebody is asking something in the chat. Okay, so I saw Berenice's message. Berenice, are you here now? Not yet, let me see. Uh, Mario Cristobal is now here, right? Hello, Mario Cristobal. Hello, good night. Okay, good evening, good evening. Good evening, okay, good evening, Berenice. I saw your message in the WhatsApp group. Okay, don't worry, I got it. So, hey, if I, if I forget it, hey, if I forget, Eh, si se me olvida quiénes son los que están por allí de, de oyentes, ahí me recuerdan, por favor, para no estarles preguntando. Porque en la, ya cuando entramos en calor, pues ya, ya me agarra de preguntarles a todos. Y las disculpas del caso, sí, en, en, en su momento, pues se me olvida, pero no es intencional, ¿ok? Tan solo no, no se molesten en contestar porque sé que hay situaciones muy personales pero trata de recordar quiénes son, ¿ok? Uh, well, this is, the, this is the exercise, ¿ok? So, present continuous, double H question, ¿ok? I'm sorry because the, the platform hasn't updated the video yet, ¿ok? I, I already uh, reported problem, but, you know, uh, this is a double H question word. Right? So, and this is, what is this? Time, time expression, what? is that right? Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow is what a time expression, you... right? Impressive. So what, what would be like the best, give me one second, because I can make it bigger. I think that way is better, right? There are some people who connect to the class by using cell phones and I think it's better. So. What tomorrow? Hey, what tomorrow, people? What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, what are you doing tomorrow? Hey, what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? Hey, Daniel, what are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, I have a holiday, but I, I, I want to study English too. <laughs> oh, you, so you are studying English tomorrow? Yes. Pretty good. Aidan, do you have plan for tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? Cristobal, what are you doing tomorrow, Cristobal? Hello, I'm sorry. Um you're not. <laughs> you, you're doing so you say I'm doing nothing, teacher. Okay, so tomorrow <laughs> is my is my day off. Okay, so uh, I 
I'm doing nothing. I'm just watching television, staying in bed the whole day. And I, I'm having breakfast on time, lunch on time, and dinner on time. And I'm not having English classes tomorrow, teacher. So something like that, right, Cristóbal? <laughs> Lo siento, teacher, me agarró peleando con la comida. <laughs> uh, so the, you, you're, having, you're having dinner now, okay? I'm sorry. Ronan, Ronan, what about you? What are you doing tomorrow, Ronan? Ronan, Ronan, hello. Hola, hola, teacher. Hello, hello. What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> Nothing special. Maybe going to the park, having a great time with children, eating some ice cream. I don't know. Just let me know. Tomorrow, hey, fortunately, tomorrow you're not going to work, right? So what are you doing tomorrow, people? Well, this is the expression, right? So what are you doing tomorrow? Well, I hope that, that today... Uh, you participate actively in the class, right? So, uh, oh, here we have another double H question. Where do you work? Where do you work? work? Perfectly. Hey, where do you work, uh, Belen? Where do you work? You work at a factory, you work at a company, you work, um, where do you work? Well, that's another question, right? Where do you work? Keep it in mind because we're gonna try to use everything during the classes. Now, we have number three over here. When is at the party? First, second, or third? Second. <laughs> this one? Okay, we're gonna learn a new rule over here. So we're gonna we're gonna learn the new rule. Maybe I didn't teach you about IU forms, okay? But with the verb over here is arrive, okay? The verb is arrive. Oh, so what, what a color, right? Give me a second, please. Okay, the word is, or, or the verb is arrive. When you have this kind of verbs, and you notice, of, and then you notice that it ends in E, you change the E for I. And you say, okay? Arriving. Oh, okay, so arriving at the party. Yeah, I mean, first, second, or third? Third. Okay, now yes, right? So keep it in mind, okay? So it's important. So it may, it's number three for the third one. Okay, number four. Where you the conference? It's the third where? Are you having the conference? All right. Hey, where are you having the conference? Where are you having the conference? Hey, we're going to get back to pronunciation tonight. Remember, we're going to practice pronunciation and fluency. Number five. What right now? What is she doing right now? All right, so what is she doing right now? What is she doing right now? What is she doing right now? Okay, so we'll send it. Hey, what's going on? I don't have the option to send it tonight. <laughs> well, you see that the platform is not working well tonight. So, but actually that is the way. Let me see, I think we're missing one. This is, that's why. Uh, where do you at the conference? Uh, where, you, you said it, right, Daniel? Where are you having, Where are the, you conference? having the conference? Okay, it was not the platform, it was a teacher, right? 
Okay, so actually you are you are working quite well with present continuous, and I I am really glad about it. Now I hope that you are uh, working in the platform. Ahora estaba revisando la plataforma y veo que la mayoría sí está avanzando, están dando el paso justo al momento que nosotros tenemos la clase. Pero hay hay eh, unas pocas personas que todavía no lo han comenzado lo de esta semana, entonces. Les pediría que no se olviden de estos ejercicios, son sencillos, ok, pero son muy importantes, son súper importantes. Recuérdense que a través de la plataforma, su récord, sus avances son de alguna manera medidos, ok. Y necesitamos que ustedes logren mínimo el 80%. Uh, ok, so... We're gonna we're gonna go and 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 see about the about the the conversation we I told you to practice right. So we're gonna we're gonna have some participants. Okay, you know the that conversation is quite long. Okay, it's a little bit long, but that was the purpose, right? For you to practice a lot of words. So I don't know. I need only two volunteers as a sample to notice that you have been uh, practicing, okay? We're gonna listen only to two, two couples. Solo vamos a escuchar dos, dos parejas como ejemplo de que sí están haciendo las actividades que se les están solicitando practicar. Okay, so I need two, four volunteer, four, but right now I need a couple. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Let us let us work quickly, people. That's why we, we need to take advantage of time. We need to take advantage of time. We're gonna check only pronunciation, people. Well, I will choose the two people, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> Ah, uh, my goodness. Where are you? Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, volunteers? Michael? Yes. Hi. Uh, okay, Michael and Beralis, you start. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> so, okay. Mike, I think Rory is, a, Rory is the lady, right? So, let me see. I don't mm -hmm. remember. So I was thinking about my my current job. Mm -hmm. uh, so Rodi is the boy. So Michael, you start. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So I was thinking about my current job. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think like my work is casual. It's so good. I'm work on Tuesday. Then I have a day off. Then I work Tuesday, Friday, and then I have the weekend. Weekend off. And I get five more months holiday. Yeah. Wow. Sig me up. So I mean... What's a good work schedule for you? I think what you just described sounds really good as well. When I was younger, actually, I don't know where this idea came from, but my ideal work hours were nine until two. Okay. No. Nine until five, like you usually hear in a lot of Western countries, but nine o'clock to two o'clock. Right. I don't know. So maybe for me, if I could do it, if I could find something like that, it will be really good because you can sleep in until maybe seven or eight go to work finish at two i still come back and have a, a good chunk 
of that uh, that day to do other things so yeah so my previous job was quite i start at night at night finish at 11 30 i work five day a week but i was great great job was finished by lunch time i had the whole whole day free was a good job and you still good good a uh, full time salary and that's i was full time salary yeah wow sounds even better than this one maybe yeah in the past i mean i i worked in a restaurant when when where you work only in the evening so i start at at five thirty, and work until around the midnight. I didn't like that as much because all day I was think I want to go to the work late later. So I think I prefer work in the morning and get in the behind me as soon as possible. I think maybe I'm the same was so, well I prefer to get it done and them have the rest of the day to enjoy. Also I had a job where it was working during the weekend and I will have Mondays and Thursday off. And I don't I didn't really like that. I miss it seeing friends on the weekend and then going out. So I don't think I will like anything like that. How about not working? Do you think? How long do you think you could go without not having to work? Well, it's funny because this job now I have a really long, long vacation, but I am not happy okay. when I'm not working. Like my, like my wife gets very frustrated with with me because I having not to do. I, I. I tend to be a bit annoying around the uh, around the house, just getting this this breast and just are are weak all the time, but are no need much work. Like if full just do do like an hour a day. I think that would be enough to make me happy. Okay. How long could you work? Would you say a week or two without having to touch work? I could probably go go a couple of months. Okay, without having to work at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have other things to do, you know. So if I had other projects, like if I was doing a lot of the train for running or if was studying. If I had a good book, then I could probably go quite a long time. 
Yeah, I get pretty restless myself too. I think of the three, four days, or not having anything to do. I just want, I really need something, something. Maybe, like you say, say study or learn or go out and do something, have a project, have a goal. I think, yeah, my personality type needs to constantly do something, produce, yeah. Yeah, when I worked in Europe, I used to do, I used to teach for for one to two weeks intensively, and then have three four weeks 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 off, and it was quite nice because I had lots of free time. But after two or three weeks of of free time, I was quite looking forward to the next block. The next block are teaching, <laughs> but are teaching this in intensive blocks can be quite. I can be quite tough as well. Like I have to, I did, did a six week block in Russia once and after three weeks i just want to do home six weeks was too long wow how in intensive was it Well, the job is Russia was really intense because I have living with the youth students in a residential university. And so <coughs> we had breakfast together and then uh, talk them from half past eight in the morning until half past six in the evening. Wow. We have lunch together and then we have dinner together in the evening. And there was one bar in the university and we all went to the same bar in the evening as well. And you have the same group of students? The same group of students. For six weeks? For six for six weeks and and it was six day a uh, week of teaching. Wow, I can if you the teacher feel like that, I can only imagine how the students must have feel. They must have one well, uh, break badly. Yeah, we all wanted a break. Wow, that was Finish. awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Que largo. <laughs> yeah, but that was the purpose. Hey, listen, we're not going to go over it again. Solo vamos a tomar una, una, una pareja como ejemplo. Yo sé que todos lo han estado practicando. Pero sí me interesaba escucharlo porque sí puedo ver que han estado... Eh, oyéndolo, pronunciando, por supuesto, hay cositas que todavía las podemos seguir mejorando, pero este, la mayoría estuvo genial, todo estuvo súper. So, so, hay cositas que hay que prestar más atención, digamos, cuando escuchemos el audio. Ok, pero eso, eso está muy bien, porque, porque sí eh, noto que sí han estado eh, practicando, ok. Pretty good. Okay, so we're going to stop with this. Okay, los que quieran sorprendernos con esa pronunciación, pueden grabar un audio, okay, y compartirlo en el grupo de WhatsApp, para que no se queden con esa ganas de, 
de, de compartirnos este, la pronunciación que han este, estado este, practicando. ¿Ok? Así nadie se queda fuera de la práctica. Now, now listen carefully. I have another conversation over here. ¿Ok? Now, what's coming, people? What's coming? What's coming? Ok, I, I, I will try to go over pre, uh, present continuous once again. Ok, so, but we're going to listen to this conversation. Then uh, I will move on directly to some activities in the PDF because otherwise the time is not going to be enough tonight. And where's everyone? This is the name of the, of the conversation we're going to see. Now, if you want to practice the conversation in this in the uh, in this part I, I already shared the link okay now i really like to see the, the script so that we can see and we can listen to at the same time daniel hey daniel right daniel goes to hannah's house let's see listen please hey i'm really sorry i'm late i came as fast as i could it's okay nobody has really come yet why where are they um well, John's shopping. He's getting some food. Okay. What about Emma? Where is she? Uh, Emma has an exam, so she's studying, and she's going to come later. Okay. How about Alex? I, I don't see him around. Oh, Alex is over there. He's preparing for the barbecue. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. And how about uh, Marcus and Emily? They're over there. They're playing. Oh, so how many people are left? Who else is coming? Um, I don't know. Nobody has really contacted me yet. Oh, well, let's hope we can get around uh, 10 people, maybe. Yes, I hope so. Cool. Cool. Hello. 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 Come in. Um, where is everyone? Uh, there's another part. I'm uh, sorry. I well, forgot everyone it. Everyone is doing something right now. Oh, really? Where's your mom? Uh, my mom, she's at the mall. Uh, I think she's shopping. She might. She's. I think she's getting the groceries for the week. Oh, how about your dad? Well, every weekend he goes to the country club, so I think he's playing golf with his friends now. Where's your brother and sister? Uh, my brother, he's upstairs. Uh, I think he's probably sleeping or playing video games, as he always do. Um, and my sister, she's at school. Uh, and she's playing soccer because she has a game today. Oh, really? When does the game start? I think in 20 or 30 minutes. Let's go watch it. Really? That sounds fun. Let's go. All right. Now, did you notice about some expression in present continuous, people? Yes or no? Which one do you remember? John is shopping. shopping. Yes Jerry. or no? Okay. Yes. He's getting yes. some food. Yes. Okay. All yes. right. Yes. She's studying at the and she's going, going. to come later. Okay, yes. what else? She's preparing. She's preparing. He's preparing barbecue. They are playing. They're playing. Playing. Who else is coming? Who else is coming? Okay, so you see. Now, these are expressions that are in context. Well, you know, uh, there is some grammar we know about, about present continuous, but actually, well, uh, you can go over and study this part, okay? Because, well, I have another page where uh, we're going to see what is the topic exactly we need to go over tonight? Okay. And that's present continuous. Okay. And there are different usage, right? Okay. So there are seven different ways to use. How many, how many ways, people? Seven, right? To use present continuous, also called present progressive or vice versa, right? Distance is usually used with active verbs, usually, okay? Usually, not all the time, but usually, okay? So with active verbs. And if it is used with stated verbs, there is a difference in meaning. Well, we're gonna see what's, go what's going on with this. 
This post will show you how to use the present progressives to see how to form present progressive, okay? So present progressive is used for activities in progress. That is the first, right? At the exact moment of speaking, tiny expressions such as now, right now, and at the moment often occur with the present progressive tense. Now, example. Can, can you read the example? Can somebody help me to read? Let us go over it. This can is you, a review. Stalin, can you call back later? We are studying at the moment. Okay. Next one. I am I am <laughs> trying to concentrate. I'm trying to concentrate. Look, it's raining again. Uh -huh. and the next they're one? playing basketball. They're playing basketball. We're studying the present progress right now. Okay, so for the review, it's over about it. Okay, we have been like practicing a lot with it. Okay, number two, present progressive, present continuous can also express the extended present actions that are in progress, but not happening at the exact moment of Speaking. So we have studied that, right? Also, you can use time expressions such as this week or these days to show when the action is happening. The action may be ongoing or may start and stop repeatedly. Examples? Hey, can you help? Can you help Daniel? Can somebody help Daniel? She's taking a computer course this semester. She's taking a computer course this semester. I'm looking for a cheap car. Do you have any ideas? Any ideas? Any, any ideas? Idea? They're renovating their kitchen this month. It's taking a long time. I am in the middle of reading a really good book. Okay, so uh, are these activities happening at the moment of talking, people? Yes or no? No. No, right? So that's why we have the semester. You know, looking for a chip car. So that means that he's not, he's not doing it at the moment of talking, right? So... Look at this expression, this month. SMS. Okay, a long time. Okay, I'm in the middle, in the middle. So that, that, that doesn't mean that the person is just reading the book just in, in that, that exact moment, right? So it may be, but actually it's talking about a period of time. Now here, Temporary situations, okay? This is our topic, people. This is our topic, okay? This is nuestro tema, el tema de esta noche, okay? Temporary situations, uh -huh, can be expressed with the present progressive. If we feel that the situation is not permanent and won't continue for a long time, all right? Example. I'm staying with a friend this week. She is living in Seoul for a few months. Jack's working at a cafe until he finds a job in his field. Okay, so these are temporary situations. Okay, it's not permanent. It is not permanent. Okay, so if we wanted to make these sentences permanent, okay, si fuera impermanente, ¿cómo, cómo sería? ¿Qué tendríamos que usar? Simple present. Excellent. ¿Cómo cambiamos esta oración entonces? Si quisiéramos que fuera al revés, que no fuera algo, I... que no fuera algo temporal. I stay in. I stay with a friend. Okay, I stay with a friend. The next one? Weekly. No, no, I mean, I she, stay, yeah, 
Number two. She lives. She lives in Seoul. Excellent. And the last one. Jack work. Jack works. Works. Jack works. At a cafe. Excellent. Now, what are you going to do, people? En su documento de Word, van a escribir esta parte, ¿ok? Y van a poner ejemplos de presente simple a manera de contrastarlo. Aquí lo vamos a poner. Present continuous. ¿Logran ver bien desde de, de, <coughs> en ese tamaño de letra? ¿Qué es? All right, so let's see. This is present continuous. Temporary situations, right? Okay. And on the other hand, you will write down permanent situations. Simple present or permanent situations. So that you can see both, right? Okay, in this case, we're going to have like the three of them, right? So, but in a, with different meaning, okay? So, I will try to copy and to fix the sentences here. Okay, let me see if it is possible. Yeah. So, instead of saying, I'm staying, you say, I stay. I stay. I stay with a friend. I stay with a friend. And that's it, right? So we're not going to include anything else. She's living in Seoul. No, she, simple present, right? She lives in Seoul for a few months. Uh-uh. She no. lives in Seoul and that's it, okay? Jack's working at a cafe, uh-uh. Permanent situation, Jack works at a cafe. And that's it, right? Okay, so we have the three of them. So, and we can see the difference, right? So the, the meaning of these sentences is different from the meanings in, in these sentences. Okay? So let me know when you finish, people. Now we are gonna see some other examples over here. We're gonna try to finish and then we're gonna go to the PDF uh, guide. Because of there we have a lot of activity that we haven't worked uh with yet. Okay, are you done? You can also take a picture, right? Are you done? Now I hope that you can see the difference, right? So this, this is um, actually the topic we are in charge of working tonight. Temporary situations with present progressive.
Can I erase this part? Puedo, puedo quitar esto, esto que he incluido aquí en la página. O todavía lo están visualizando, lo necesitan tener ahí. Pueden tomarle una foto o una captura de pantalla. Y luego trabajarlo en su, en su documento. Ok. Ok. Alguien que lo comparte en el grupo para asegurarnos que todos tienen la información. Ok. So I will continue. Voy a continuar, ok. Okay, now there are there also there's also a, another way to use person continuous uh, the, for temporary or new habits uh, that can also be expressed with the present progressive for regular habits that have continued for a long time and are permanent. Choose the present simple. Okay, so this is what we did over here, right? So it's clarifying temporary or new habits can also be expressed with present progressive. For regular habits that have continued for a long time and or are permanent, choose person simple, right? So that's what we did above. Now, over here, I'm drinking a lot of coffee this week. Okay, I'm drinking a lot of coffee this week. You're smoking too much. Okay, you're smoking too much. You're working late uh, every night. You're working late every night. So if I say, for example, I'm drinking, uh, I'm drinking a lot of coffee this week. So it is the is the person uh having having some coffee in that moment? Será que está tomando café en ese momento? Yes or no? Yes, in this moment. Mm. Oh, well, it all depends, okay? I will clarify like this in Spanish, so you have the idea about that, that uh, providing this part of the grammar. Es como cuando nosotros decimos, uh, hey, esta semana estoy, estoy tomando demasiado café. Okay? Demasiado café estoy tomando. Entonces, a lo mejor puede que tenga su taza de café ahí en la parva, pero... Pero no necesariamente estamos diciendo que en ese momento estoy tomando café. ¿Ok? You're smoking too much. Estás fumando demasiado. ¿Ok? Posiblemente se lo está diciendo a alguien que está fumando en ese momento, pero no es en realidad diciéndole que, 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 que está fumando en eso, sino que en un periodo de tiempo él ha estado fumando demasiado. ¿Ok? Esa es la idea. They're working late every night. Han estado trabajando hasta noche. O hasta tarde, cada noche. Okay? So, this is the idea, people. I try to clarify it in Spanish because, you know, if if it's if it's in Spanish, it can be uh, said in English. Berenice? Berenice, Berenice. Teacher, una pregunta. Con esas, eh, sería casi... Como lo mismo que se estuvo viendo ayer del presente continuo, eh, que tendría que ser como lo mismo que le preguntaba ayer, que si era solamente para un tiempo definido, pero hablando de cercano o lo más próximo. Ah, no, no, very, don't get confused, because let me see. Es que, vaya, quiero ver si, si ya lo pasamos, that this progress not happening. Ah, ok, this. por eso nos está dando esta página. Por ahí se las compartí para que ustedes la puedan repasar. Miren, hay diferentes usos que podemos darle al presente continuo. ¿Ok? Este sería para futuro, por ejemplo. ¿Ok? Dependiendo del contexto, porque también depende del contexto. Pero si yo lo quiero decir uh, a futuro, esto, esto tendría sentido a futuro. Ella va a tomar un curso de computadora en este semestre. O sea que no ha comenzado todavía. Ok, uh, okay, okay. A, a, Pero, pero, de, si, si, si tomamos como, por ejemplo, el, eh, eh, si el contexto fuera diferente, y allí, allí es donde nosotros tenemos que identificar 
cuál es el mensaje real que queremos dar o que, o que estamos recibiendo. Porque qué tal si esta persona ya está en el, en el semestre. Ah, ya no es futuro. Ah, entonces ya cambia lo que nosotros estamos viendo ahorita. ¿Qué el punto era él. Ah, este sería también, miren, temporary situation. Ok. Temporary, por eso es temporary or habits. Ok. Entonces ahí ya cambiaría. Pero tenemos que estar claros con el mensaje que queremos eh, dar o que recibimos. Porque depende también del contexto. Y eso no nos lo aclara la, la página. Ok. But in this case, I'm drinking a lot of coffee this week. Pudiera ser futuro, como dice Berenice, pero... Pero como mm, en realidad no, lo que nos está enseñando la página es que es una situación temporánea o un hábito, ¿ok? Que estamos expresando. ¿Pudiera ser futuro? Pudiera. This coming week. I'm drinking a lot of coffee, pero miren, también tendría que cambiar algo acá en la time expression para que fuera futuro. I'm drinking a lot of coffee this coming week. Me propondré a tomar mucho café la próxima semana. You're smoking too much. Okay, this, this is very rare, but no es que alguien va a planear eso. Entonces es muy raro que alguien va a crear una narración con eso. They're working late every, every night, okay? Podría ser futuro. Podría ser, pero acá es temporary habit. Okay, so you need to keep it in mind. Se vuelve un poco tricky cuando no nos, no nos, si aquí no nos explicara a qué se refiere, entonces uh, pudiéramos hablar de que, de que a lo mejor decir que la persona lo está haciendo en el momento. No, pero acá es temporal. So the, I don't know if I uh, if I answered that question, Berenice. Sí, teacher, gracias. Okay. So practice makes perfect. La práctica hace el maestro, la verdad. The the present progressive is also just to describe a situation in which is slowly changing. My grades are improving this year. Okay. So. Is present progressive? Sure, is present progressive. But is telling us or is providing the idea about having a slowly change in a situation. Technology is getting cheaper all the time. Okay? No es que la, no es que la tecnología está todo el tiempo volviéndose más barata, no. Y para que se vuelva más barata, tiene que pasar mucho tiempo. Hay celulares que ahora valen mil dólares, mañana valen 300 y ustedes saben que eso se mueve así. Entonces, pero no es que de la noche a la mañana, hoy vale mil y mañana va a valer 300. No, eso no sucede. Eso, por eso, technology is getting cheaper. Ajá. All the time. Global warming is becoming an important issue. My English is getting better. <laughs> I like that. Number six. <laughs> next, the next you see for the definite for definite future plans. Use with the future is time expression. Okay, look at the see Berenice. I'm having lunch with Jackie tomorrow. Okay. The, aquí está super claro. I mean, esta nos da la time expression. We're going to friends next week. She's leaving at three en la madrugada. No ahorita que son las, las nueve. At three en la madrugada va a salir. They are going to the movies on the weekend. So the day after tomorrow, not tonight. So it's very clear, right? So algo que ayuda también son las time expression para que ustedes las identifiquen. Si se fijan, todos los ejercicios tienen una time expression. Tomorrow, next week, at three, on the weekend, and that makes uh, uh, the, the idea clearer. Number seven, okay. this is the last one. This is the last one. Lastly, we use a present progressive to complain. Do you know complain, people? You know this verb, do you know this verb, people? 
complain. If you don't know, please look for it in the in the web and tell me about the meaning, please. What's the meaning of complain? All right, very good. So to complain about situation, usually with adverbs of frequency such as always, constantly, continually, and forever. Now, look at it. ¿Con cuáles usualmente utilizamos esos adverbios de frecuencia? ¿Con qué estructura? Present simple, right? Present simple. Ok, pero los vamos a ocupar o los podemos ocupar con presente continuo. Ok, cuando... Or to complain about situation, usually with that, okay, with situation. Okay, you are constantly missing the train. James is always losing the, his keys. He is forever talking on the phone. Okay, so what are the people doing over here? Complaining. They are complaining. Okay, so over here you have the seven ways to use present continuous tense. Any other question? No more questions about it. So we're gonna try to, well, I highly advise you to go over the page and have some review by your own, right? So, and, and think deeply about those, those examples. Okay, now, no questions, people, no questions. Okay. No. Tell me, Michael. Michael. Este, y en las oraciones anteriores, ¿hay algún método para identificar si lo está hablando a futuro o, o simplemente hay que practicarlo nada más para, yeah. para saber? Uh, good question, uh, Michael. Es because, you know, hay ciertas expresiones que nos ayudan. This semester. Uh, for a long time, a long time, okay, son expresiones que nos están indicando qué tipo o de qué manera se está utilizando el presente progresivo, okay, miren, at the moment, okay, right now, okay, etc., right, so la, the time expressions also help. Right yes. to 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 provide a clearer idea. Okay, this week, every night, this year, all the time. Okay, tomorrow, next week, at three. On the weekend. Okay, and that's it. So, algo que ayuda, Michael, son las, las time expressions. En algunas, pues, por ejemplo, aquí, let me see. Global warming is becoming an important issue. Aquí no tenemos un, una, una time expression, ¿ok? Pero se supone, o, 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 el contexto nos dice que el calentamiento global se está convirtiendo en un problema importante. Quiere decir que eh, por un periodo de tiempo esto se ha venido haciendo o, o volviendo más importante. ¿Okay? No nos da el, 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 el time expression por, por, por las circunstancias de la oración. ¿Ok? Entonces ahí la práctica nos, nos va a ir ayudando también a identificar en qué, de qué manera se está, se está utilizando la oración. Michael. Pero sí, las, las time expressions son de gran ayuda. Ok, so, ok, people, let's go over it. Let's go over it now. Yesterday I told you, right, to go to this, this, uh, these activities. You know, we're gonna try to work a little bit fast, okay? Because, well, we have some some other, some other exercises over here, okay? So, I will ask one, two, 
for people to reread. Re I, I say reread, digo, re volver a leer, porque ayer se leyeron, pero yo les, les hice el llamado a investigar pronunciación, etcétera, para que lo pudiéramos leer de la mejor manera posible. ¿Ok? Voy a pedir a algunos, a, a algunos que me den a leer. ¿Ok? Algunos que no los he escuchado hoy por la noche. Ok, Jonathan, number one. Good evening. Good evening. Um, okay. Organize your class, close, classes. Uh, um, if you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't understand underestimate the impact yoga could have a, a dear attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function and lift mood. What boss would want those outcomes? Uh, Thank you. Uh... Thank you, Jonathan. Yeah. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank uh -huh. you. Okay. So remember, what is the purpose okay. for having this exercise? ¿Cuál es el propósito que yo, que yo les pida? Eh, cual, cualquier... Yeah. Cualquier recurso que ustedes encuentren que no tenga sonido. Y ustedes, por ejemplo, dicen, bueno, y esa palabra, ¿cómo se pronunciará? Attitude, attitude, ah, bueno, la voy a buscar. So, y ahí se van a dar cuenta cómo se pronuncia. Attitude. Ok. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? ¿Cómo se pronunciará attitude. ese verbo? Calm. Calm. Mm. Mejor lo investigo. Calm. Y esto será mean o será mind. Okay. Todo eso. Si usted tiene cualquier duda con cualquier verbo, cualquier palabra, pues quémosla. Agarremos ese hábito, por favor. Okay, number two, celebrate birthdays. I will ask somebody else. Uh, Mariel. Ah, okay, Michael. Michael, very good. <laughs> I don't use how to rely on watching this game to boost morals, simply acknowledging special occasion. Occasion can I have big impact? It show your team that you care about them as people. Don't use as employees. Get everyone to sing a card. How a okay, cake once a month or simply but them around. Okay. How do you pronounce this word? Michael? Business. Okay, business. Business. Yeah, okay. business. This word, Michael? Business. Special. Okay, remember, si no tiene una E acá, no hay, no hay que pronunciar E. Uh -huh. Special. 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 Otra cosa okay. que no en su lectura. Si tiene una S, hay que pronunciar. It. Shows. It shows. Shows. Okay, it shows. Yeah. And also, I noticed about something else. Okay, ah. What about this one? Just. Okay. Just. just. Very good, just. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, very good. Number, thank okay. you, Michael. Thank you. That was perfect. Number three, people. Who can help me with this one? People. Volunteers, volunteers to read. Volunteers. Okay. I... I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have Veraliz, and after Veraliz, we're going to have Daniel. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, but ladies first, Daniel. Okay. I, know you are, you are, <laughs> I know you are a gentleman. Thank you. Give your employees an opportunity to lay off. To lay off some esteem by organizing 
that they are painful. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for a stop moral. Watch out so as the boss, you're going to be a prime tiger target. Okay, so you say watch out. Hey, watch out. Watch out. Only watch yeah. out. Watch, watch out. out though. Hey, watch out. Okay, that was fantastic. Thank you. And Daniel. Okay. Guess who? Ask, ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy. Lie heard on that will definitely help lift spirit while offering plenty of, of humor along the way. Okay. You say? Hearts. Hearty. 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 Definitely. 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 Why? 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 Right, why? That's it. Why? Okay, so listen, try to learn the, 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 Try to learn the pronunciation of certain words, right? Especially the ones that tend to get we tend to get confused because we have right here we have words such as es bueno que poco a poco cada palabrita que que usted va encontrando que a lo mejor se parecen pero quizás la una pequeña diferencia en pronunciación hace o sea cambia cambia la palabra. Hearted, hearted. Okay, so miren esas dos palabras. Heart and hurt. Heart. Okay. ¿Qué, ¿Qué será la diferencia acá? Okay, tenemos heart. Our heart. And this one, heart. 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 Okay. So if you study these two words, you will notice that pronunciation no, is very yeah. similar. La pronunciación es muy muy similar, más no la misma. Okay. So let's keep certain words in detail. Okay, now tell me what you got doing here. Ayúdame a, a, a decirme cómo hice, cómo les quedó la tarea, perdón. Okay. Solo voy a ir subrayando lo que ustedes hicieron. Yoga has an important effect on employees. True. True. ¿Dónde está esa información? Léamela, por favor, Michael. ¿Tiene abierto el documento, Michael? No, teacher. No, no ok, so let, give me a second. Where is it? Yoga has an important effect on employees. Your <laughs> um, employees are sitting at the computer every day. Don't understand me. The impact yoga could have on their attitude. Um, really? Pretty good. Now that, that's that's one part, right? And the other part is like it's when it's a yoga can help alleviate stress, calm to mind, release tension, etc. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Michael. Okay. So that's true, right? Okay. So whenever you tell me the answer, tell me about the, the where did you get the, the information? Okay, yoga releases tension, but it doesn't calm the mind. True or false? False. 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 Why, uh, Daniel? What did you read? You are release tension and calm the mind. It's a contrary, right? It's a contrary. It's, yes. Okay. Based on the reading, special occasions are not important. True or false? Mm, true. Bueno, yo puse true, teacher, porque como 
Ahí dice que basado en, en lectura especial, eso no puede ser, eso no puede ser cierto, digamos. Ajá. Ajá. Based on the reading, basado en la lectura. Ajá. Special occasions are not important. Podría What? ser que sí, podría ser que no. <laughs> no, let's see. Porque es que ahí no está en la lectura esa, no, no ah, lo encontré. Ah, ah. Okay, so. Ask everyone to bring childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on the board and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a big, easy, like hearty fun that will definitely help the live spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. So actually it is, it is false, right? It is false. Now, number four, workers can play paintball inside the office. Workers can play paintball inside the office. True or false? False. 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 It's out the office. Uh, it's, uh, it must be uh, outside the office. Childhood photos can offer employees Childhood mm -hmm. photos can offend employees. Offend. Mm -hmm. It says offering plenty of humor along the way. True or false? False. It is false, right? So it's the opposite. Mm -hmm. So you should have you you should have done it that way. Done okay. often. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's move on to the next part. Okay, we have a lot of work to do over here. Okay, we the last the last uh, classes we haven't been like working in this in the PDF. That's why I have decided to go over it now. Well, uh, over here I, I will read this. I will read it by my own, and when I read it, then you you are going to read it, but you are going to record your voice. Okay. Lo voy a leer yo primero, a modo que ustedes escuchen la pronunciación. Luego, ustedes lo, lo van a practicar cinco minutos. Después de esos cinco minutos, lo van a grabar en sus celulares y lo van a compartir en el, en el WhatsApp. ¿Ok? ¿Ok, people? Ok, ok. Ok. Now, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arri arriving? You know, got it. Yes, they're arriving on Friday morning. Okay, that was it. So I will read a, a little bit slowly in case you want to repeat. Luis, good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is Rita. This is Rita. The new secretary. The new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, hey, sure. Sure. Tell, Tell me. me. I want to know, we're attending the annual conference this year. And where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending. And the conference is taking place in the, in the, in the gray room. Rita, by the way. Yes. When are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes. They're arriving on Friday morning. All right. So this is the conversation. Okay. Now, five minutes, cinco minutos, y luego me comparten, por favor, el audio. En el WhatsApp sería. Yeah, in the WhatsApp group, please. Okay.
Pretty good. <laughs> Now, I saw some, uh, I listened to some, some audios, right? So that is, there is a tool, there was a group. It's a tool in which we can notice about our progress also. Cuando nos escuchamos a nosotros mismos, también podemos notar el progreso que estamos teniendo. Y podemos escuchar nuestros audios, los audios de los compañeros, y ver cómo avanzamos como grupo también. ¿Ok? Pretty good. Thank you. If you haven't shared the, the, the audio yet, share it later. ¿Ok? It's because you know. Well. There are some questions on here. So let us try to complete this part because we, we need to go over all, every single exercise. Uh, complete the questions. Use the conversation above to help yourself. Are the materials arriving? What is that? What is the, how do you complete this question, people? What, what is the missing word there? Hello, hello. When, when are the materials uh, arriving? Okay. When are the materials arriving? Okay, now future, present. Temporary action. Well, analyze it. Let me see there's somebody in the chat. Vera Liz says. Yeah, Vera Liz, I noticed that. I don't know why, but. I couldn't listen to your to your audio. I don't know what's happening. Maybe WhatsApp is is facing problems tonight. But but I I've heard some of some of them and they were quite good. So if you if you cannot send it tonight, you can send it later. Don't worry about it. Okay. Now second question: Is attending? Is attending the conference? Okay, can somebody help me to complete this question? Who? Exactly, who's attending, right? Who's attending the conference? Now, present, continuous, uh, happening right now, future, temporary action. What, what is it? Mm. Uh -huh. According to the conversation, well, right? According to the conversation, that's what you need to keep in mind. Temporary action. Temporary? Well, we're gonna we're gonna get back with the conversation. We will notice about it. Okay, don't worry. And the last one. Meeting uh, uh, is the meeting taking place? Where is where? Where? Where is the meeting taking place now? Uh, where, where is, is the meeting in Tokyo? Where is the meeting taking place now? Let's see. Let's see conversation. Okay. Keep in mind this question. When are the materials arriving? Who is attending the conference? And where is the meeting taking place? Now, look. It says, Hey, Luis. Good afternoon, this is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year. This year. And where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending. The IT staff is attending And the conference is taking place in the great room, Rita. Uh, okay, great room. Then it says, Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Just they're arriving on Friday morning. Now, let us analyze what we have here. When are the materials arriving? Present, continuous, happening now, future statement. Um, 
permanent situation, uh, not permanent situation. So what do we have here? This is, I will let you know about this. This is for future, okay? Okay, it's not happening at that moment. They, right. Yeah, they are, they are thinking about what to do in that conference. So that means that they are not doing, they are doing nothing at that moment re regarding to that conference. Who's attending the conference? What about this one? Present at the moment of talking, future statement. Present, present, present progressive meaning future also future future and sure. the last one future also right so de acuerdo al, al contexto <laughs> todo está en futuro okay okay so any question right. any question about it no, no. No, okay. So let's see. Let's see. Well, the link you have here, you can go and see the information in YouTube. Okay. I saw the video, but well, I consider it's very few if you if you saw if you see the video by your own and, and like have this information as as a review. Okay. Well, we're almost finishing. Okay, we're almost finishing because I know that you want to work in, in groups, okay? And it's important for you to work in groups, okay? So remember that we have questions and the structure, question with present continue. The structures that we need to follow is a double H core, the verb to be, the subject, another very naive form and a complement. Okay, which are the uh, double H question words? Some of them are what, when, where, why, which, who, and how. Okay, we have some examples, some more example. <clears throat> hey, why is the meeting uh, the new people to? Why is he meeting the new people today? Because, and you continue, right? Providing th the answer. When is the new office launching? Is launching on where is your boss having the annual meeting? He's having the annual meeting in, and you continue. Now, we're gonna work in this part, but we're gonna be like doing it orally. Okay. What company are you working for? Number two. Complete it, please, people. How? Hello, hello. Are you there? Aidan, Aníbal, Belén, Claudia. Jonathan, Mario, Os well, Oscar, uh -uh. Ronan, eh, Veralis, Michael, what happened to you? We are just... How is, how is he divided, dividing? How is he dividing? Dividing the groups. How is he dividing the groups? Number, number three. When is she handing the checks? When is he when is she handing the checks? Number four. Which factory are you both visit this month? Okay. Which factory is or are? They're both. Yeah. Uh, R, 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 R. It's singular. It's singular. It's okay. Is is which factory is your bus visiting this month? Okay, thank you. And the last one. Uh, 
Why is Why? Why is the new secretary working the next Saturday? Excellent. Why is the next secretary working the next Saturday? All right. So we we are, we are on time. Okay. So do me the favor to keep working in the PDF. Le, le solicito se mantengan trabajando en el PDF. Okay. Miren, todavía hay bastante de, de present continuous. Okay. La intención es que ustedes se empapen lo más que puedan de cada tiempo, de cada estructura que nosotros les enseñamos acá. Ok. Uh, aquí hay más de lo que vimos ahora. So, use the present continuous for temporary situations. The expressions these days at the moment uh, are often used to emphasize. Ok, entonces mmm, yo voy a retomar esto este, el día lunes. Voy a tomarme un par de minutitos. Ok. Y este, pero recuérdense que el día lunes lo central de la sesión va a ser la historia que ustedes están preparando. Así que vamos a trabajar en grupos nuevamente, ¿ok? Porque ya esto, esto ya está para el día lunes. Entonces voy a hacer los dos grupos y siempre me voy a mantener por ahí observándolos, escuchándolos, ¿ok? Y este, tratemos siempre de optimizar tiempo. Okay, ready? Okay. Right. Okay, here we go. Ya voy a chequear la lista por si necesito hacer cambios, oye.
Ya estamos, Ross. Pero en medio de las dos. Así quedaríamos entonces. Sí, así quedaría, creo. Hace falta alguno de lo que estábamos en el grupo. Edgar. Edgar. Edgar es el, el que está haciendo el, 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 el PDF de, de, de nosotros. El, el Word, sí. Sí, sí. No, sí. Pero creo que, que, que está trabajando porque de oyente está. <coughs> Berenice, Berenice. 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 Okay. Yo tengo el mi speech, no lo he mandado porque problemas ahí técnicos. Me tocó ir a, 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 a mi edificio, entonces ahorita voy por mi casa. No sé si quieren que les diga si el pequeño speech que yo he hecho. Como no se ha había cargado con... la compu. <risa> no ha cargado la compu, le digo. <risa> sé es que me dieron un equipo nuevo, entonces... Intenté conectar. Sí, sí. Y se quedó en el stand -by ah. y eh, Pero traspasé, lo tengo en mis notas ahorita, el pequeño speech que yo he hecho. No sé si quieren que se los diga. No eh, que se llevó uno también solamente. ¿sí? Está bien. Si sí, puede, si no, pues después lo manda aquí cuando llegue a casa. No sé. Va de camino. Voy camino a casa todavía. Bueno, bueno, y Edgar tampoco, no, o sea, lo de oyente está ahí, es el que lleva ahí el documento, pero pues o sea, la, la idea es que lo pudamos, pues sería mejor que lo mandara, cu... pues sería mejor que lo mandara cuando ya esté en la casa, porque por venir ahí escribiendo en la calle le puede pasar algo, ¿verdad? Que, que lo mande al chat del grupo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, así puede ser. I have you tried reading for another time. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I be careful. Thanks. Don't have fear in your way. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Entonces lo que, bueno, yo pienso lo que, lo que hemos hecho es tratar de pulirlo y, y tratar de revisarlo las veces que sea necesario para ver si, si podemos mejorar o, o este, tratar de darle buena, buena pronunciación. Sí, yo no sé si alguien, bueno, puedo irlo escuchando, no sé si alguien quisiera... Eh... Eh, practicar un poco lo que ha realizado hasta el momento, igual también siento que sería una buena ayuda. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Alguien ahí que levante la mano. <ríe> Creo que por eso Muy tengo bien. el mundo. Quiero ver, quiero ver. Ya dan sus ideas. Ya da, después de eso ya ustedes dan sus ideas y dicen, ah, yo no puedo ese día, yo puede, pudiera tal día, y no sé, después de eso ya decidir, ah, entonces hagamos algo familiar, vámonos al zoológico, y ya. Está bien. Sí. ¿Verdad? Bueno, yo como no había... Eh... Ayer, yo, yo, pero tenía algo de antier. Ajá, Porque sí, sí, sí. Eh, bueno, escribí acá, who are you, everyone? Eh, how are you, everyone? So, uh, I think it's it, good to go to school. But on Tuesday, I have to make a trip to the record of another apartment with my partner, Tomara. Pero 
Esa es una cosa por la cual no podía reunirme, no lo he terminado aún, pero es en el inicio. Ah, bueno, igual, no sé si por lo menos ahorita le gustaría como que practicáramos y empecemos así, cada quien que escoja una letra. Por ejemplo, solo como, como una pequeña práctica, aprovechando que nos quedan como 10 minutos. Eh, Porque el, el, teacher nos roba, el teacher nos roba tiempo. <risa> Bye, entonces Bye, empecemos no. a practicar la conversación. Ajá, quiero ver quiénes estamos activos ahorita. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Creo que cabal estamos cinco para practicar por lo menos el principio. Okay. Solo que ustedes les van a poner emoción a lo que van a decir. Okay, empezamos. Hey. Vaya, empiezo yo. Hey, how are they? What a job to see them. Thanks, good. I feel well. Working hard, taking care of my family. I'm happy to be together even if it is by video call video call mm, how are you everyone i think it is a very good to go pero como todavía no habíamos dicho que íbamos al zoológico entonces, sí, 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 eh, todavía no ahorita estamos como el saludándonos el primer saludo ah, entonces how are you everyone nice to see you Podría ser solamente este. Ajá, sí, Para... puede ser algo corto. Mario. Ok, ¿dónde nos queda? Espérame que... Ahí cualquiera, siento, cualquiera. Es... No se preocupe. Digamos que es un saludo por el momento. El saludo. Ah, okay. Ajá. Ah, solo sería el saludo. Ajá, solamente un saludo corto y nada no. más. Ah, ok. Entonces, si sería el saludo, sería... Ya, ya tienen algo escrito, vea. Sí, sí, vale, perfecto. Entonces, sí, su saludo sería Mario. Sería en la reunión. Ajá, su saludo en la reunión. Sí, no damos motivo para la reunión, ¿o sí? Ajá, no, ahorita estamos como en, en así como ahorita, reunidos así como ahorita. Ah, perfecto. En videollamada, en videollamada, ajá. Sí, no hemos definido nada todavía. Ajá. Después de o sea, el... en, la, en la conversación todavía no he definido nada, pues, pero. Ajá. De, ahorita yo, después, bueno, ya el Mario da su saludo y después, va, yo les voy a contar. Supongamos Mario ya dijo lo que, lo que escogió, lo que ya preparó, el saludito corto, y yo le voy a decir, well, no, I am working as a billing assistant at the DERCO. I have been working for two years from Monday to Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. and Saturday until noon. But please listen to me. I ask you to call it so that we can set the day, time, and place we, where we can meet. And personality, I would like us to go to diner on, on Friday or Saturday at Paseo El Carmen, for example. By the way, we can dance and we can <laughs> also have a few drinks, <laughs> but we will do, but we will do what the majority say, just don't tell Just don't tell me you can please. Después Vaya. podemos ir agregando otra, otra, otro pedazo de conversación. Como, ahí ya toca agregarle, ahí toca yes. agregar lo que cada quien ya tiene escrito. Por ejemplo, usted, Daniel, me va a decir, ah, oh, fuera bueno un ejemplo, pero no puedo ese día. Tengo que hacer esto o salgo a tales horas de trabajar. Eh, y no sé. yo sugiero que hagamos la reunión tal día y de ahí pues que, que ya empecemos a como a definir que vamos a ir al zoológico yo creo que si tres no podemos o si decimos tres de los integrantes 
decimos, no puedo tal día el mencionado por el compañero anterior, entonces Ajá. podemos proponer que sería bueno dejarlo para un día. ¿Qué les parece si, si para, digamos, sábado, domingo o algo así? O domingo nada más, o un día de semana, entre semana. Ajá, sería al final, creería yo, definir como que vamos a salir domingo en una salida familiar. Usted propone tal día, cuando usted... Ajá, vaya ahí, día. ahí, ahí, yo ya le dije que me gustaría verlos viernes o sábado en la noche. Luego alguien es... dice, no, viernes no podría, porque tal cosa, ¿qué les parece el martes? Entonces dice, Ajá. el martes yo tampoco podría porque tal cosa. ¿Sí? Ajá. Y digamos que al tercero o al cuarto que diga expreso, eh, decimos, entonces, eh, si lo dejamos para... Veámonos el domingo. domingo. Uh -huh. Y hagamos una salida familiar. Lo importante es reunirnos, les voy a decir yo, vea. Ajá. Ajá. Pero al menos eh, lo que quería que vieran era como el principio o la base, vea, de cómo podemos empezar. Puede ser al que final... alguien más quisiera. Como somos cuántos en el grupo, somos seis, ¿verdad? Sí. En teoría somos siete. Sí, ah, sí. No, pero aquí falta Ahorita... María. Es María Elba. Falta. Ella no falta. María Elba, pero bueno. Ajá. Sí, María Entonces, Elba. El grupo no se ha conectado. Hoy no se ha conectado, creo yo. Yo creo que iba a estar de oyente. Ajá, por eso es que yo les decía que algunos iban a estar como avisados de que no iban a poder estar en la, en la reunión. Entonces íbamos a definir los que estamos. Y solo bueno, les vamos a pasar la información ya al final, vea, si ojalá que puedan estar con nosotros, es lo que voy a decir. Muy bien. Igual defendemos en el grupo, porque estamos ausentes, no quiero decir de que no es. Sí, no, pues por supuesto. Está bien, entonces, eh, bueno, no sé cuánto tiempo tenemos, pero mmm, creo que estamos avanzando, o sea, tres minutos. Ah, bueno. Tres minutos. Ah, okay. ¿Qué, le, ¿Qué les parece la propuesta que les hice ayer? Eh, eh, la eh, podría... Reunirnos el sábado y el domingo. ¿O oh, qué les parece mañana? No sé si ustedes trabajan mañana. Yo tengo libre al fin. Porque hemos ah, ok. Yo digo que mi, quizás mañana en la tarde. No sé si alguien va a tener tiempo. Yo mañana puedo en la tarde. El sábado yo voy a trabajar en la mañana. Bueno, ¿quién no, puede? Eso, vaya, nos reunimos aquí en una reunión de Zoom y nos ponemos de acuerdo ¿sí? y practicamos. Ah, vaya, pero ¿quién, quién va a crear la, el, la sala o el grupo, la reunión? El grupo. No sé. Ajá. No, pero el grupo acá es fácil de, de crearlo. Ajá, Yo pero para que nos manden el link. Ajá, para que nos manden el link y poderlo trabajar ya, o sea, a modo de unir ya todo y saber, ya no dejarle la letrita, sino que el nombre de qué va a decir cada ah, uno. Sí, ajá. Eso, sí, para que eso tendríamos el... que hacer ya mañana. Y avanzar con lo que va a decir, por cual no puede, a lo que van a decir ajá. que no puede. Muy y bien. tratar de practicar, correcto. Sábado, domingo. Sí. Ajá, así como, como lo hicimos ahorita, tratar de practicar un poquito. <coughs> Más que todo por la pronunciación, acuérdense. Eso, ajá, la pronunciación. The pronunciation. Ah, o sea, ajá, y la, y ya la, no sacar, y la ya, ya. Ese es envidia ya, la, que nos están sacando. Sí. Y la emoción, y la emoción también que hay que ponerle a lo que vamos a decir. Porque Entonces eso va a, a importar bastante. Ah, ayer ajá. escuché que hay una bolita con cerveza, todo se me aparece. Es correcto, <risa> es lo que yo digo. <risa> Carmen, yo me noto. Entonces, entonces usted me apoya en la idea, Jonathan, ah, sí. de poder ir a la cena. <risa> Mañana es día. <risa> sí. Vaya, entonces quedamos así, nos reunimos. Ok. Yo le puedo Ajá. mandar el link. Vaya, perfecto. Y si no, pues ya vamos a ver cómo, cómo se crea ese grupo. Yo creo que Ajá, se debe... creo que de aquí lo... Okay, people, how, how was, 
how was the team work? <laughs> el teacher your... nos roba tiempo. <laughs> how was your team work? ¿Cómo estuvo el trabajo en equipo? Very good. Vamos avanzando, vamos avanzando muy bien. Eh, miren, saben que si admiro que, que y eso es bien importante, ojalá que el grupo se mantenga hasta ver la luz al final del túnel, como decimos, a verlo juntos. Me encantaría saber que este grupo terminó allá en avanzado o al, al último nivel. Sería excelente porque este grupo es muy constante. Lo veo yo reflejado en, en, en los documentos en donde nosotros, nosotros llevamos su récord. La asistencia es muy buena. Disfrutan lo que hacen. Están conectados con las clases. O sea, tienen mucho futuro. Y, 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 y pues, aparte de eso, pues se comprometen inclusive a trabajar fuera de las horas de la sesión de, de inglés. Porque ahí los estaba escuchando, que este, inclusive están coordinando trabajar este, en el proyectito mañana o fin de semana en algunos casos. Entonces eso es dar el, el, la mía extra, ¿verdad? Y, y eso es lo que hace grande a las personas. La verdad que esta, esta competencia que nosotros llevamos, porque yo siempre lo tomo así como... Es una competencia. Yo en mi caso lo tomo bien personal y digo, estoy compitiendo con, contra Enrique Morales, que, es, que soy el profesor. O sea, yo quiero ser un mejor profesor. Entonces mi competencia comienza cada vez que yo este, retomo un grupo. ¿verdad? Entonces estoy compitiendo contra Enrique Morales. Y lo mismo si ustedes, si ustedes lo toman en ese sentido y, y empiezan a pensar, bueno, estoy compitiendo contra amigo mismo, quiero ser mejor en inglés, y no solamente lo tomen como el consejo solo como para aprender inglés, no, tómenlo para su vida diaria, y se van a dar cuenta que, que Dios bendice mucho cuando nosotros siempre tratamos de, de ser mejores, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero en el caso de inglés, si ustedes dan la, la, la mía extra, si se, por ahí estaba escuchando que decían un grupo Sí, pero este, hay, que, hay que pronunciar bien, hay que este, trabajar la, la fluidez, este, hay que hacer esto. Y acuérdense que si, si el grupo toma bien ponerle efectos de sonido, pues entonces ya ustedes sabrán cómo lo van a hacer también, ¿verdad? Pero tengan ahí los cubiertos cerca con, con los sonidos que van a estar haciendo en, en, ese, en ese momento. Quiero que... El día lunes, pues que se la pasen bien, porque no hay otra manera de aprender, sino pues dedicándose, disciplinándose y pasándonosla bien. ¿Okay? Así que si no hay, no hay preguntas o, o algo que quieran añadir, ya pasé lista, que no se preocupen, porque ya tomé apuntes. Yo no crean que, que yo me desaparto de acá, no, yo estoy escuchándolo. Estoy trabajando en los documentos y sé que, sé que optimizamos tiempo, que, que también me interesa. No sé si hay preguntas. Hey, felicito a los que están participando más seguido. Y, este, y, y voy a mencionar a Michael porque me llama la atención que hoy Michael está este, participando más activamente. Y es, estoy viendo que él ya se dio cuenta que aunque cometa algún errorcito, son, son más grandes los avances, que es lo que yo quiero que todos vean y que todos pues, se, se animen a, a estar participando más activamente en la clase. Si ustedes se fijan, este, yo pido la, 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 la participación de alguien y, este, y si noto que pues, no hay participantes, yo trato de avanzar para no estar... Este, como, como, como este, invirtiendo mal el tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero cuando alguien se anima a participar, wow, solo abren su micrófono y, y nos ayudan. Uh, ok, a modo que la clase sea más fluida. ¿Vera Liz? Solo era un aplauso. Ok. No, el aplauso es para todo el grupo, la verdad, que lo están haciendo muy bien. Tomé el ejemplo de Michael, pues porque pues, me llama la atención que que Michael este, ya, eh, ya, no, ya no tiene aquel temor de, 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 de participar. 
Y eso es lo que, lo que hace avanzar a las personas también. ¿Ok? I, I practice all the time. Sí, I, I <laughs> know it's a In my somebody. jaw, in my mind. Yeah. Es que eso Ole, lo... I, y eso solo lo... escucho música en inglés y todo eso. Y trato de ir escuchando algunas palabras que se llaman la ceba. Excelente, cada Ajá. palabra, acuérdense, cada palabra es como una monedita que nos encontramos en la calle, si es de dólar, mejor, ¿verdad? Entonces, nos detenemos a recogerla, ¿no? Entonces, Ajá. igual, cada palabra que, que nosotros encontremos nueva, echémonosla al bolsillo Ajá. y ya no nos despeguemos de esa, de esa palabra, ¿ok? Um, solo, solo que, que quisiera que el día tuviera unas 36, 36 horas, unos 25. Sí, ¿no? sí yo sé. Para que yo se sé. Pero fíjense, que, fíjense que, que, que el comentario está muy bueno, lo que dice Michael, porque creo que a todos nos ha pasado que quisiéramos que el día tuviera 48 horas, pero la verdad no se puede. Entonces, <ríe> eh, en su momento, cuando yo estuve, digamos, cuando llevé las asignaturas más difíciles en la carrera, lo que yo hacía era depelarme. Eso a mí me funcionó mucho, uh -huh. especialmente, miren, el, el, no me usaba mucho la noche, eh, porque en aquel momento no era muy bueno para depelarme, sino más bien la madrugada. A mí me funcionó mucho levantarme a las 2 de la madrugada. De 2 a 5 yo estudiaba, a las 5 ya tenía que levantar porque en ese tiempo ya trabajaba, pero miren, nada es eterno y gracias a Dios se superan esas etapas. Y ahorita sí. es muy bueno que ustedes agarren esa disciplina porque todavía hay camino por recorrer, por recorrer ¿ok? Así que pues, sí. me encanta saludarlos Jorge, y verlos. Eh, ¿Michael? Fíjense es que yo tengo tres palabras que, bueno, me llaman la atención, que, que yo las he buscado y, y siempre me dicen que, bueno, significado es todo, ¿va? Por ejemplo, la palabra everyone, everybody y everything. Ok, eh, so, siempre, siempre me sale que, que, que significa todo. Yeah, but every, uh -huh. Sí, pero everyone sí es todo, ¿verdad? Everybody también uh -huh. es todo, pero everything es todo. Todo. Uh -huh. Ajá. Everyone todo son singular. personas. Ajá. Everyone, personas, todos. Everybody, todos. Eh, everything. everything es todo. O sea, ya incluye sonido, cualquier cosa que ustedes quieran incluir ahí uh -huh. en esa palabra. Everything. Everyone es todo. Todos. Everybody, everybody. También es todos. Bueno. Ok. Depende so, del y, concepto que usamos. No, puede usar cualquiera de, de las dos. Eh, Michael. Uh, ok. Ok, entonces. Ok, so let us see on Monday, people. Have a nice weekend. And take it easy. Tomorrow you. You, can, you can rest and, and, and I hope you will have a great day. See you on Monday. Um, God bless you. See you on Monday. Good, Good night. night. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Gladys, Gladys. Oh, okay. <laughs>